Go and see what he's up to. Pop, give us a little dance. Turn around. La 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 for this old clown, and have a drink for this old clown. <laughs> All aboard! Here, darling, let me give you a hand. Where's your father? They're going aboard. Don't get excited. What was he doing? Singing. <laughs> Hurry! Let's go, troops. Come on. I'm afraid. You won't fall. <laughs> You're light as a feather. <laughs> Watch your head. You'll be warmer in there. Aye, aye, sir. Where are you going? In the cabin. No, no, no. You have no money, you say. So down in the hole. Let's go, troops. Move over there. That's right. Stay together. You'd better give it back. I want it. What have you got there? Let me see. Where'd you get it? I found her. She's mine. Hmm. Another mouth to feed. He saved her life. She was starving. So are we. Let me hold her. Now she's frightened. Look how she shivers. Poor little puppy. Where is Mina? Oh, God, what if she fell over? But don't worry, I'll go look for her. You stay here. And I'll find her. and shut up, you shrew. Ow! Jesus, get the hell out right now, you hear me? It's not my fault, you know. You're as bad as she is. You're all a bunch of rag pickers, worthless scum. He promised me some bread with bacon, meddling bitch. Idiot!
Thanks. Luck to you, old man. You're gonna need it. Farewell. You'd soon be rich if you'd put those girls to work. <laughs> we'll make out all right. We always have. Come on, troop. We're going to our new home. Another dump, you'll see. our new home. What do you think of it? It's even worse than our last house. There she goes again. She's never content. Well, it's only temporary. We'll find a better place. It's a stable. You have to go to the toilet. You can I'll hold help it. you. It's over here. Up to Daisy. Tell me when you're done. Look, we can sleep six in here. A real paradise. Can put it over here. Watch out for your toes. This will do for you and me now. Oh, lovely. A straw pallet. All right, boys, you'll sleep in the alcove. I'm done. He has Sleep such beautiful eyes. He's so soft. What's that? Get that dog out of your bed. He has fleas. He probably caught them from us. There you go. You can sleep in here. <coughs> Cut it out! Girls, no more now. Settle down and go to sleep. We have to conserve the lamp oil. It's very costly. Good night, troop. Good night. Good night. Oh, my belly. Oh. It's not time already. It's freezing and I have a cramp. Papa, Papa. Uh, what oh. do you want? I, I'm so cold. I'm freezing to death. There's nothing to burn here. What can I do? I wish I could feel warm for a minute. Oh, stop. Don't burn their shoes. You said you were freezing. Well, here's what to burn. They'll have to stay inside so now. So what? Now, it'll warm up fast. <laughs> Are you warm enough, Troop? Oh, yeah. it's cozy. It feels good. Feel better, Mama? I wish I could be always warm like this. And food to eat whenever we wanted it. Oh, yes, when we are rich. Tell us again what it will be like. Yes, yes Mama, Mama, tell First us. First in the morning, I would eat a tart. And then some apple crisp. And about 10 o'clock, white bread with honey and hot cocoa. And then at 11, two eggs with pickles, lots of pickles. Yes, and ah. by the end of the day, you wouldn't have had one square meal. Nothing like potatoes to stick to your ribs and sausage with dark bread. Well, I can eat what I want. You give the kids sweets. You know very well that chocolate and biscuits are no oh, good. Oh, puff. Sausages, that's only good enough for the poor. Listen to the princess. You only eat the little snacks of the gentry. Stop now, I'm so hungry. You know what's wrong with you? You don't spend money wisely. What money? We never have what's any. What's to do? I'm starting to get cold again. Well, there's no more wood. Shush. Quiet down. This is all we need. Mm -hmm. 
Here, you can help. Me too, Papa. Oh, watch out, you idiot! Hey, damn it, cut it out, bitch! Enough! Oh, oh! Nearly done with this, finally. Fido, where's Fido? Ah, uh, he's probably outside. He'll come back. What's that? Shh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, what a surprise. <laughs> Here's your Fido. <laughs> a drowned rat. Nina! There. Pick on someone your own size. Leave him alone. I hate you all. Don't you ever pick on the little ones again. Hear me? Leave me alone. Well, well. What a delightful view. All busy getting settled in. Bread. And money in hand. Are you in good health? I am, sir. Fine. And your teeth? Yeah. Well, not bad. I have work for you. The horses. However, that mustache will have to go. Shave it off. Who are you? A philanthropist. And I've got something in mind for you. An amusing job. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, she says. <coughs> All right, come in, girls. It's time to work. Hey, comrade. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, very well, because I didn't dream about you. See, it doesn't pay to be polite here. Good day, sir. Good morning, sir. Aha. You're the new one. Yes, I am, sir. Follow me. What's your name? Katie Alderman, sir. Mm. Well, can you write? Yes. Then sign your name. Down there. Miss Hermans! You'll start work at 6 o'clock in the morning, just till 7.30 at night with three half-hour snack times. Oh, dear. That's long, 12 hours of work. You think that's too long? 12 hours? Yes, I certainly do. Uh, you'll find time passes quickly enough. Come with me. Here's a new girl. Show her what to do. But I lose money if I take time for my piecework. Do as I say! Go with her.
Hold that in place. So, come on. Hurry up, come on. Stand by me. Take this. Do I put it in there? Yes. The princess has to work, too. She stole the bleach from the fabric for her hair. I bet she means trouble for all of us. <coughs> it comes from a jewelry store. Yeah, Cowboy's very nice track. uncle gave it to her. <laughs> get back to work. Do this. Clear the way. Don't get burned. Careful. like that the first week. The blood is going on the wall. The leaves are staying in Dr. Pay. Much fun, huh? Seems you're even more tired than me. Wait, it even gets worse in the afternoon. Please cheer up. Let's think of something more pleasant, like a song. Come on. Let's sing. My dear woman, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> should I sing then? Oh, something lively. Sing, sing, sing a song. <laughs> this is a song my father always sings. Her father. Uh, and now it's time for all the citizens to join the fight. The fight for right. Oh, the smells of freedom, <laughs> the of freedom, the land, the house of war, to join the, the fight war, for liberty. Glory to William the first. We don't put up with craters here, especially a red. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Give me that, you thief. That's all I have to eat today. <laughs> here, go get it. I catch anyone fighting around here, I'll personally throw them out without a cent. Is that clear? Pay off the new girl. 
She's dismissed. Oh, God, my eyes are burning. Follow me to the office. She stole my bread. What is it, my child? It wasn't my fault. Why should I have to be fired? Come with me, dear. We'll arrange for something. Watch out for him. He's a beastly old bastard. What do you mean? All he wants is your ass. He's really a depraved old man. My ass? Stupid idiot. Oh, watch out. What's delaying you? Follow me this way. Hey, don't touch that. Well, how are the truth? <laughs> don't clown around. Bring your pay over here. I want to wear it. No, he gave it to me. Gave it to me. It. Papa, make her give it back. He gave it to me. So, that will last for a while. That's enough now. Quiet down, troops. Find that cigar. Uh, uh, a customer gave it. You're to a me. big liar. You bought it with my hard earned money. After this, I'll decide what we buy. Will we eat soon? Clear off this table right now and, and set the plates around. Hello. Hello, Katie. You're back already. How come? Mmm, food smells good. You get one more plate. Hello, Dad. Did you earn good tips? Him. He never earned a tip in his life. Uh, all right, children, dinner is ready. Oh, I'm great. ready too. I'm starving. <laughs> Don't anybody sit in the chair close to the fire. That's where I sit. How come you're dressed so fancy? Some bacon. It's coming, it's coming. Yeah, I'll take that one. You have the manners of pigs. There's enough for all of you. Mmm, this is so good. I could eat it. What's all this? You promised now. two slices. Mm, I love potatoes. Why should she get two way. pieces when I have none? Shut up. Tell her why, Pa. She must work all night. You can have half of mine. No, not at the table. Hurry up, Ma. It's time for us to go. Ah, filthy cow. You finished your work awfully early. I was fired. Didn't the work suit you, Princess? A woman and I had a fight. Why? Ma, the madam might get angry if we're late. Where's Mama going? All right, troops. Here's a new game. Oh, what is it? Do some magic for us, Papa. Oh, yes, yeah. do some magic. Calm down. Come on, Papa, do some magic. All right, now, come closer and pay attention. <laughs> oh, how did you do that? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Do you want to pass your lice on to the clients? Here. Better get busy. Hurry, wipe up the rug. Mm. Ah! Look, a lovely selection. Oh, this one is adorable. I'm afraid it's expensive. Anything for you. I'm afraid it really doesn't suit you, Amy. Oh? It's so large. It hides your pretty face.
Bonjour, mademoiselle. Good afternoon. But what's this? One does not clean while there are clients in a store. Get out! You will excuse us. They don't know their place these days. It's that wicked dandy again. Quiet, don't be impertinent. He's a very good customer. Mm -hmm. They're both the same. Pierre and him always feeling the girls. Did you see that elegant gent downstairs? A gent? Oh, he's a stingy swine. He'll buy her the cheapest hat in the shop. You'll see. How do you know? It's quite dear, but it doesn't suit you. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy old goat. <laughs> The cheapest hat as usual. I don't want to see you in the showroom when the client enters. It's Lisa's fault, sir. Ow! Quite enough. Have you finished the hats for the convent? <laughs> for the little sisters. <laughs> Would you like to see them? Mm, quite lovely. What do you think of them? They're pretty. Of course, it's hard to judge when I make and some myself. And you, little one? I don't care for this one. Which one? This one. The ribbon is really too much. I worked hard on that hat, and she rips it up. <laughs> don't you think it's prettier now? Yes, it's much improved. for you in the parlor. Come. Set them down there. Oh, you clumsy oaf. Arrange them with care now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. So, Bordello, it's not a convent. No, no, no. refer to the bottle as a convent. Do you like it? Yes, I do, and I want it for myself. Hey, what do you know? Get your dirty hands off my darling body. Get your dirty hands off my That's one I made. Let it go. Well, I certainly won't give Pierre 12 florins for a hat made by an errand girl blasted. Here. You were fighting over it just a minute ago. Oh, this girl is a half-wit. Shut up, you idiot, or you'll lose all our sales. Get out. Ah, lady. the only ones available. But you enjoyed them the last time you were here. No, not at all original. Variety is the spice of Ladies, life. Ladies, show off your... Over here. Katie, Katie! He wants you. So this is where you work then. He pays well. 
He'll pay you for it. With that old goat? No, never. Well, you must, otherwise they'll fire me. Please mm. do it. Well, why should I care what they do? Katie, dear. Just listen. You see, I'm begging you. Do it for me. After all, we're sisters. That makes no difference. Think of the food we could have. For the children. You'll do it for them, huh? Don't worry. All that old man can do is to stare at you. <sighs> Let's go. Charming. Your little sister, you said. Pull your skirt way up, dear child. And I, I want to please you. Oh, you know what I'd like to watch you do? Oh. Higher. We must celebrate. A glass of port. What did you think of the convent? Hey, what's the matter? Come join us. Here, this is real port. And one for you. To your health. A vote santé. To your health. <coughs> Ma, we should all have another glass of port. You, Lisa? You? No, or I'd have to go home on all fours. Well, then, Kitty, let's drink to us. <sighs> yes, you can tidy up now. The girls can do it. I'm going home. Till Monday, sir. Au revoir. I lock up the shop. Well, Corinne, you can go now. Katie will finish putting the things away. Very well. I'll see you Monday. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night.
Here, wash yourself, child. The doctor will arrive soon. Are you all right? I feel quite dizzy. What's the matter with you? I believe I fell and hit my head. It doesn't show. And I don't feel anything. Then it's not so bad. May I help you walk? Yes. It's so strong. Why use black soap? So you don't get scabies. I'm called Annie. And I'm Katie. Will you finish? Finish what? Well, you must clean up for the doctor. Oh, no, don't take that off. It's forbidden. How can I wash then? Underneath, inside. The nuns don't allow nudity. You wash there, too? Have you seen the doctor yet? Is he kind? He's really very kind. Come on, come on. Everybody will get back in their beds. Hurry up. Good day, ladies. Good day, Good day, Good day doctor. doctor. Ah. Well, now, my little lady. Move her bed over. Sister, I need your help. Set up the screen, sister. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> we'll put you back on your feet soon. Breathe deeply now. Use your stethoscope. A murmur. Maxime in lobo sinistro pulmonis. Diagnosa? Infection in pulmonis. Forcitan tuberculosa. What does all that mean? It's how doctors talk. In Latin. Oh. 
Recipe in parte sinistra. Hoc loco et hic et hic. Your diagnosis is correct. It is localized exactly here. <gasps> <laughs> well, now. Enjoy your meal. Oh, thank you very much. I was told I'd find you here, my child. Good day, Mother. You're enjoying your meal. Yes, and for lunch they serve soup. But you seem in good health. You're enjoying yourself here. I'm really very sick. Such foolishness. Hey, Get out of bed right leave now. Leave me alone. The doctor said I was sick. In Latin. Ask him. Ask her. You'll really be sorry if you're lying to me. What did the doctor find? It's Well, you see, it's true. Here, I saved some for you. No. You should eat it all to make you well. Blonde Revenger. sent for a crust of bread. I might have something for you. Yes? Follow me. Hmm? Yes, sir. Here. 
you'll have to open your trousers for that. Hurry. You filthy tramp! You bitch, leave me alone! Henry! He was gonna give me money! Henry! Go to hell! Here comes a gent. All right, go on. I can't do it. Silly girl. Here's another one. Get think? on with it. A florin. Ask for a florin. What's your specialty? Are you new with this? <laughs> Katie? I feel so filthy. How much did you get? Only half a florin? He said I didn't know what to do. Come on, we'll find another. Hey, I want a sausage. Please, sir. Just a moment. May I come with you, mister? Yes. 
It will cost a whole florin. Very well. Fifty. One florin and fifty? Here's the florin. Ah, you get the rest later. Come on. Sit down here. <gasps> What's that? It's for your head. What for? I won't use that. I'm taking your picture. You mustn't move. I didn't come here for that. Oh, so you'd rather... No, I don't think you want to. I'd like to employ you as a model for a painting. Hold yourself so. Higher. Higher. Yes. Don't move now. Why do you need a photo if you're an artist? Stay like that. I always work with photos. The camera helps me to see reality. Will you model for me? You mean it? Yes. Come tomorrow morning. You can go now. But didn't you forget what I came for? No. Well, then, I know what to do. <laughs> you still owe me half a floor. <laughs> you promised. <laughs> Katie? Where have you been? Katie! Look at this. What have you done for that? Hey, you want these? Get them. Give them to me right now. <laughs> Katie. Here they are. Get them. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hurry up if you want them. Katie. <sighs> are you bored? Not at all. Tired or hungry? Starving. <laughs> Just a little longer. It's me. Am I intruding? Yes, as usual. Uh -huh. Fine. Ah. Another vision of utopia. You'll go bankrupt, Rembrandt. Money is of no concern to the true artist. Hey. Always money. You only think of money. Well, now you amuse. Hello. Hello, George. Hey, Andre. <laughs> Where have you been? We've been very busy. Ah, for the Grand Revolution? <laughs> well, well, you give him the royal welcome. I think you must know who's picking up the check tonight. <laughs> picking up the check? What for? I've come to invite you for dinner tonight. A feast. I accept with pleasure. Can she come too? Of course, she's very welcome. <laughs> Did you hear that? Take off your ribbons. Come and join us.
I love parties. <laughs> Andre, do you like it? It's for sale. Take care, Andre. This is what's waiting for men with money. Yes, they deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear, Andre? You go first. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Those laborers are great. You like it? Their faces, they're proud. <laughs> Not so much proud as hungry. I know, I'm hungry too. Gentlemen and ladies, a song about that which makes the world go round, money. Andre, I'm warning you, I'm going to get drunk. Go ahead, be my guest. We'll carry you home in a basket. Well, what do you recommend? The fish is excellent. That's what I'll have. <laughs> have you made your choice? Mm -hmm. I'd like this and this and this also. That's my order. Are you certain? Mm -hmm. That's the wine list. <laughs> 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 you guessed I don't read French. You can order for me. I'll eat anything. Uh, for the lady, uh, beef bourguignon. Thank you, sir. Bonbons, pralines, chocolates. Ah, sweets. Um. Wait. This man will take care of it. It's all oh, for you. Hugo you, is so generous. Chocolates, pralines. Mm. What's that? <laughs> Consommé, a soup. Bon appétit. Oh, you're putting on airs. Maar lol, heb je wel. 
How do you like it here? It's beautiful. I believe it's beautiful. And I believe you fit in very well. Hey, hey, listen to him. You working long as a model? Modeling? Not really very long. Ah. Yeah, ah. I had the luck to bump into her one night during a stroll. Ah. <laughs> do you like to model? I get cold sometimes. The dress I have to wear is very thin. Well, you must see a great deal of her then, don't you, George? Yeah. <laughs> My friends, to your health. To us. Your health. <laughs> a toast to you, my dear. Meisjes, and may I have this dance? Lovely, I think you very lovely. La 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 la. Copper, gold, or silver, gold. Oh, show off. expect to be paid when I agreed to stay with you. I don't intend to pay you. I wanted to give you a gift, that's all, dear. To buy an elegant dress. But whatever for. Anyhow, nobody cares what I look like. Huh. Oh. Driver, here we are. a dress with it. Will you come and see me? Not necessarily. Then I don't want your money. Here. I say. Here. Katie. Shh. Quiet. Down. Take it. Listen. I'll meet you at two at the pavilion. Honest? Cross your heart? <laughs> this will buy more than a dress. Hey, come on. Let's go. for you. It's nice and warm. It's not too hot. For me, it's good. Would you like to have your hair washed? Does it cost a lot? Pure Castile costs 25. And another 25 for me, for washing.
I wasn't sure it was you. Lovely. Which, the girl or the hat? You always give a hat to your girlfriends. Yes, that's right. Well, which is lovelier? You, Minx. You, of course. The dress doesn't make the lady, you know. At first, I wasn't sure it was you in those fancy clothes. <laughs> Someone you know? No. I knew her when she was only worth half a florin. <laughs> I can see the price has gone up. Has she learned to do it yet? <laughs> Pardon? I fear you have mistaken the lady for someone else. You come to see me? To stay the night again? You could stay on with me. For good? Just until I get tired of you. Or until I get tired of you. Mm -hmm. We're agreed then. Troops, everyone inside. <laughs> Where were you all night? Whose money paid for that? It's a gift. From whom? <laughs> from someone who's fond of me. Huh. What now? I leave here. Leaving? For how long? I leave for good. I can't believe it. It's true. Hmm? Think of the children. They'll need food. Who's going to pay for that? They're your children. They're not my responsibility. You can't go. Yes, I can. You'll stay here. You owe us that. You bitch. You can't leave us. Oh! staring at her like that. <laughs> she rides well. She's had lessons and natural talent. Your own creation. Mm -hmm. 
Do I smell sour grapes, eh? Don't be silly. Envious, perhaps? Some, I guess. Yes, thank you. Ah, my feet are all wet. Oh, I'll fetch your no. slippers. No, please stay. Tea? In this weather, you should have taken a cab. Yeah. Here, I've already stirred it. Too much sugar. I like it that way. I really like having you to myself. All worn out. Falling apart. I don't have enough to take a taxi. You're used to poverty. I'm not. What do you want? Money. Piles of money. <laughs> Many of the shops in Amsterdam are short of money now due to hard times. They come to the bank for loans to enlarge their business and add new supplies. And someone at the bank must decide who deserves a loan. That's me. <laughs> I think they're in very good hands, then. <laughs> Come on. It's not easy. That grocery store is an excellent risk. They do a good business. That jeweler also is a good risk. He has a valuable inventory for security. This one, he's too old. No loans for him, not at his age. He's not very ambitious either. That pharmacy wants a loan, and I'll grant it. That woman there is a widow. It looks like business isn't very good. A bad risk. No money for the widow. You won't give her a loan? No. What will she do? Who cares? Go bankrupt? Times are bad, you know, even for us. If I make an error and grant a loan to the wrong person, I'd be held responsible. You could help me. We could work together. Doing what exactly? You will investigate the shops and see if business is good. No one could guess. You'd work for the bank. I don't like the idea. Ta. Ah, come on. Do it. For my sake. <laughs> it could mean an advancement. A hot chocolate please. Right away. May I ask you a question? 
Do they have a lot of clients over there at the corset maker? Hey, Gertrude. Huh? Tell me how's business these days. What for? This lady wants to know if business is good. Here you are. The hot chocolate you ordered. So, young lady. Isn't it a fine day? A fine day, at least up till now. Oh, the sky's very clear. So it's the weather we're talking about. <laughs> Want a drink? No. Why do you want to know? Huh? I have a brother who sells garments made in France, you see. Corsets, too? Yes. France, you say? Yes. Your brother? Yeah. Yeah. Why not admit that you're only here to spy on me for the Royal Bank? Joan. Come here. Let's see what you have. She's a poor widow. I think you know her. She's bankrupt because of you. This sweet thing works for the banker who puts you on the street. I've seen her with him. Sit down! Judas! <laughs> <laughs> you whine of your kind, you'd do anything for chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? I've been attacked. It was awful. Well, now, come. You tell me all about it upstairs. I feel a lot better now. <laughs> Curly locks. Well, do you like it? It's ridiculous. <laughs> there are girls who like it. Girls with good taste. <laughs> One in particular. Anyone I know? <laughs> Tell me who she is. The director's daughter. She's in love with me. She wants to marry me. What about you? Hmm? Are you in love with her? But that's not the question. She's very rich. But my family is better than hers. A very suitable match. Hey. We'll marry her then. Before long. But of course you won't be able to stay here. Not now. You knew it wouldn't last forever. Yes, of course. Katie, look for a cozy little place to live. Not too far away. I'll help pay the rent. Mm -hmm. I'll visit you as often as I can. But you'll be married. Well, that kind of arrangement's common when you're rich. And I'll be very rich. Where are you going? Into the kitchen to fix our dinner. Katie, you're shrewd. Katie? Katie?
Attention! Stand back! Clear the roadway! We'll stay here, we have our we rights! We demand our rights! Yes. Get back! Or we'll use force! What? We're right to! I'm warning you! Don't you get back there! Get Shoot! Back. Watch out! Stop! Shoot! I warned you, we're going to shoot. We're going to shoot! We want we work! Want work. We want work! You fool, stop! They're going to fire into the crowd! Stop! Down! Stop the shooting! Assassins! Murderers! Get the chief! We'll get you! Get him out of here. Pull him. Here's the address. Take them there. You're not coming? No. Good luck. valued in this world.
Young master. Oh, you're hurt, Here. master. Rest your weight on me. Easy now. Right away. Well, now, young lady, what are you doing here? I'm looking for Andre, madame. My son is resting now. He's been wounded. He must have medical attention. We're waiting now for the doctor. Can I see him for a second? Wherever in the world did he pick you up? In the gutter? No, I picked him up in the street. I am Katie Oldeman. I see. Please go up. Better now? You probably saved my life. Not really. Besides, you've been very kind to me. Kindness is all you seem to want from me. <laughs> We're from different worlds. Hmm. Not really. You were born a lady. You're bleeding again. When I was a little girl, we'd suck a cut to stop the blood. It will work, you'll see. <laughs>